Dr. Smith would not see him, would not see him in person and just prescribed him amoxicillin without even checking. I mean, surely that is on Luca's record for God's sake. GP20, in this video, I show you exactly how to handle a complaint with a parent who is very angry. Let's jump right into it. Hi, this is Dr. Kwan calling from the surgery. May I check who am I speaking with? Sarah Wilson. Can I confirm, are you um, Luca's mom? Yep, that's it, yep. Can I confirm Luca's date of birth, please? 11th of the 3rd, 2013. Thank you. So how can I help? I had to take Luca to A&E because Dr. Smith at the surgery prescribed him amoxicillin, wouldn't even see him and prescribed him something that he is allergic to. So I want to make a complaint. I'm sorry, but I want to make a complaint because that is not okay. I'm really sorry about um, the experience you've had and the fact that um, you, you had to take Luca to a &E. May I check, um, how is Luca right now? He is recovering, thankfully he's fine. Um, the doctor at a &E was able to prescribe him something appropriate, thank, thank goodness. So uh, yeah, he's, he's okay, thankfully. Well, I'm, I'm glad that he's doing better. I can see that you're obviously very upset about what's happened and, and um, we take every complaint very seriously and I can uh, walk you through what's the complaint process and how we can resolve this problem, okay? Yeah, yeah, that would be good, thank you. So tell me, um, what's happened when you discuss with Dr. Smith? So, Luca has had a cough for like two weeks and I was getting a bit worried about it. I was thinking, like, is it something more serious? So I rang the surgery, spoke to Dr. Smith. Dr. Smith would not see him, would not see him in person and just prescribed him amoxicillin without even checking. I mean, surely that is on Luca's record, for God's sake. Like, surely that's there somewhere that he is allergic to it and was prescribed amoxicillin without a thought in the world and... And next thing I know, he's got a rash spreading. I understand. I mean, I can see on his record that he had a reaction to penicillin where he had some rash. Um, and and uh, it looks from the consultation record that he was prescribed amoxicillin after the consultation with Dr. Smith. Yeah. Now, um, I, I can see that um, this is um, very... Um, um, unfortunate because he developed reaction to that amoxicillin and I will make a note the fact that he has developed severe rash after having the amoxicillin so that in the future um, anybody who's prescribing would actually be able to access that information and and um, the rash that he developed then how soon afterwards was it? Um... 15, 20 minutes, like not long at all, like almost immediate. Mm. May I check, did, did he have any um, swelling of his face, any breathing difficulty? No, no he didn't. So um, then um, you, you um, mentioned that you went to a &E afterwards. Yeah, well, I tried to get through to you guys and I couldn't get through for love nor money. It was ringing and ringing and ringing. So, of course, I went to A&E. I didn't know what else to do. Like, Luca was coming up in a really scary rash. Like, you know, and you think, well, I don't know what this is because, obviously, you trust your GP to tell you and give you the right stuff. And thank God the doctors in A&E knew what they were doing and gave him the right stuff. Like, I don't know what would have happened otherwise. Well, um, I understand the um, anger that you're expressing and it is definitely something that um, every parent would feel the same way if the child has been prescribed the, the medication that um, causes reaction, especially when they are known to have allergic to penicillin. Um, this is definitely something very serious and um, I acknowledge that um, uh, th th there is something that we need to learn from from this and I apologize for the fact that um, Luca was prescribed um, a medication that, that caused him to have severe rash and it's a good thing that um, he was seen in A&E. We have been experiencing quite a, a large volume of calls and it has been very difficult for us um, to um, get um, back to patients 
Um, but I do appreciate this is very serious and I will speak with the practice manager to see how we can make sure that um, in the future, if, if you need to have um, advice about the treatment that has been provided, then we would make sure that if it's something urgent like what you've described, that uh, one of the on-call GPs would be able to speak with you. Um, and and um, definitely for children, we'll make sure that we have some um, priority slots to have a yeah. chat with the parent, okay? Yeah, 100%. Like, it's terrifying being a parent and worrying about your child and not being able to get through to the people that you need to speak to. Like, I know... Like, I know you guys are busy I know that you are like I do appreciate that but it was it was unacceptable like be you know I, I really truly hmm. well let me tell you that um this is a um problem that we will take very seriously your complaint is very important to us because we want to strive to deliver better care next time and um I will speak with a practice manager about um what's happened to Luca and um, if you'd like I can ask practice manager to give you a ring later today. Have you found the insights in this video useful so far? If so, you might be interested in SEA Blueprint and mini course. This is a free blueprint that you can get and teaching from myself. Just click the link down in the description below and sign up and you will get a teaching from me every day for the next seven days. How we as a practice um, respond to a complaint and what we will do about this complaint. Now, um, every complaint that we receive, we, we ask that um, patients or any relatives um, to make a formal complaint. So you can formalize that by, by writing um, a letter to us. And then um, the practice will issue a, a letter to acknowledge the receipt of that complaint within three days. Okay. okay. Yeah. And from there on, we will start a process that um, is um, something we do for every complaint where we investigate every aspect of the care that Luca received, uh, what went wrong um, and, and see exactly about um, what uh, should have been done differently. And this is a discussion we will have at our next practice meeting. And there's a part of this that's called a significant event meeting where we discuss things that should not have happened. Um, and, and I can assure you that Dr. Smith will be involved in that process and um, we will um, investigate what's happened and we'll also make sure that we understand um, what exactly um, was the reason for prescribing the amoxicillin as well. And um, so that in the future, this doesn't happen so if you'd like to um, be involved in that process, um, we can uh, make sure that you understand exactly where we are, the progress we make. And if you'd like to have a chat with Dr. Smith, um, I'd be happy to facilitate that because I'm sure he, he would like to explain himself and, and um, apologize to you um, about what's been going on with um, the treatment that Lucas received in the practice. Have you found the insights in this video useful so far? If so, you might be interested in SEA Blueprint. Just click the link down in the description below and sign up and you will get a teaching from me every day for the next seven days. Yeah, that would be good. I would like that very much. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. So um, as part of the complaint, um, we also want to make sure that we make things right. So was there anything um, that you would like us to do for you to to resolve this i think just what you've said is is great thank you doctor i need i just needed to i need to know that it's been listened to and that this isn't going to happen again you know like that was really it was so scary and you trust your gp you believe what they tell you and it was wrong and uh, i just yeah i i want to know that this is going to be dealt with um, and responded to. So, yeah, thank you. I can assure you that this complaint um, will be dealt very um, seriously because um, this is something that we will learn from. And um, in the future, if you want to make sure that Luca is seen um, by, by a doctor um, of your preference or a specific doctor who you trust, 
we can also um, discuss that um, to make sure that that's one of the things that we um, do as part of this complete procedure to resolve this. And if you are not happy with the response from us, you can take it further and you can escalate it and we will be happy to signpost you in the event if you're still not happy with what we um, decide. Okay. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. So I will have a chat with the practice manager straight away after this call and then um, she'll be able to give you a ring. And then um, I will take this to the senior partner. We will discuss this in the practice meeting and investigate uh, what's gone wrong and then um, come up with a plan. And if you'd like, I can arrange a follow-up appointment in three weeks' time. And then if you have any queries or anything, we can go over um, what are your thoughts about that. That sounds, yeah, that sounds good. Thank you. I would like to be kept in the loop. So yeah, thank you very much. If you found this video useful, you might want to watch this free training on the SCA. This is a video that a lot of GP trainers found very useful. Click here to watch it. Take care, everybody. I'll see you on the other side.